Welcome back ladies and gents. So today we are going to be looking at an app uh, that can control your OBS on your phone. Uh, so let's get into it. Um, we are slowly building. Uh, so if you haven't, make sure you do like and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit that YouTube partner. So every support is massively helpful so anyway we're going to go in to where let me get the right button so we've got my obs here uh, we want to be able to so we've got the obvious things that we can use but um you have got things like touch portal which are free and stuff like that there are uh well free to a certain point you've got early uh, on board and you can get uh the android side of it uh, that can control it. Uh, you have got a stream deck, but obviously stream decks are expensive. But I have, I'm fortunate enough to get one, but they are expensive. So you want something that you can control basic stuff inside OBS. So we're going to show you how we do this. So I'm going to just close down the app. Um, we're going to bring up this. So this is the app. But first off, you're just going to have to go in to download it. We're just going to go, excuse all the messy apps. Um, we're going to go into uh, your app store. I, again, I, I will preface this. I'm not sure if it's on Android. I won't know if it is on Android, but um, I do know it's on uh, iPhone. So at the time of recording, so to type in OBS Blade, we search for it, go to the app, uh, go to the section on it, and you can download it. Uh, download it, and then once you've downloaded it, open the app and you'll get greeted with a few little setup bits there is one obviously bit you will need and that is a uh, web socket uh, i think we're on 4.9 currently so um use that um download that first uh, i will put a link in the description it, to be fair if you if you've got things like biku bot um uh, lure on board stuff like that you, you've already got websocket installed and a lot of my videos you're going to need websocket to control certain aspects of your stream anyway so i have got two obs's open so we want to control the the second one i have set up on uh, uh, a port the way you actually find your port uh, is you go to tools up here um just zoom in and you go to websocket server settings and i've set this one to triple four five and then enable it and then we just press ok everything else you can set passwords and stuff like that if you want entirely up to you uh, we're just going to need to bring this back up we're going to move it to one side uh, we'll move it over here actually uh, no no we will move it here uh, so for the one i've got i have set it up as four four five um you could just to refresh it all just scroll down it will search for relevant ones that are open i have got one already set up so uh there you go it's all there save it uh, i'm done why i'm trying to show you the phone it's on the screen so we're just going to save that as we need and we're going to connect and there it is we've connected to that obs so down here you can see we're going to move it over here now um you can see i've got two scenes open we can switch scenes between the two we can then uh let's just move uh, I'm trying to find a good spot for it, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, uh, let's actually let's put it here because we know we've got two scenes. Uh, make no, we didn't want to do that, did we? We didn't want to do that. I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger. You can see these. Yeah, there we go. Should have planned this out, but hey ho, we're gonna go we'll roll with it. So from on from this from the app, we can select um, window capture device, and we can turn that source on and off. We can turn any sources off. We can scroll down. We can connect to Twitch chat as well. Uh, I haven't done that at the moment. Obviously, you can get stats up. Uh, you can change your transition that you've got already set in OBS. You can even set studio mode so if you want to do that. Um, you set that you can preview your current scene there is a few bits of information there but you can preview the scene that you're on uh, we can switch again to say scene one if you set up say um now with obs 27.1 uh, and all that you can set up um, um source transitions as well so for example i turn that source off turn it back on there's a slight delay in the preview on that but 
expect but it's live it's pretty much live in in uh, in abs but it's a it's a simple tool for if you just want literally scene switching um and you can control sources some of your sources in obs as well i i have looked through it and i don't and you can control your audio as well so you can control your mic level in in there you can so video capture device you can see it scrolls up and down uh again mic up and down uh and that's pretty much it but it is quite a nice handy tool and it's a free tool uh, again I'm, i will preface i don't know if this is uh oh uh on android because i haven't got an android device so if anybody has got one let me know in the comments below and let me know if it does work um i wouldn't expect they do i've got to be honest but who you knows? Uh, i don't i personally don't know because i haven't got an android device um yeah so it's a it might be a quite quick one but i <laughs> ended up waffling a little bit again thank you all again for the recent support in all of the videos um and yeah once again i will catch you all in the next one